This past weekend, I did battle with a zit, and over the course of the battle, we became friends. He had a funny voice where he'd talk and he'd be like, Hello, my name's Franklin. I've emerged from beneath sack skin to see the world. I had to get rid of him. He's getting a little too emotional on my forehead. I always thought that zits were something that you only have to deal with in your like puberty ages, and I'm no longer in puberty ages. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Having a zit again kind of just immediately throws me back into that like middle school period of my life. In sixth grade, I developed a crush. She was with the um, somehow ordained cool kids. I was with my two friends who would watch Gone in 60 Seconds and then reenact it because why wouldn't you? That movie's crazy. I gotta steal this car to protect my brother. That's my Nicolas Cage imitation. It's pretty terrible, right? Right, so already I had lost hope until field trip day. We were going to go see Hugh Jackman in Oklahoma and she had to sit in the front. She was afraid she would barf. What a coincidence. I have to sit in the front too because if I sit anywhere else, I would barf. Fate love through a fear of barfing on a bus. She loved this stupid voice that I used to do. And the cool kid. Yeah. I think I definitely stole it from my cousin Nick. Sorry, Nick. This is middle school, by the way. So I don't really do silly voices anymore. Oh, really? Then what do you call me? No, no, Franklin, don't. <laughs> Franklin's different. That's not a silly voice. He's real. And then for the Oklahoma show itself, somehow through fate, she had to sit on the end aisle because again, fear of barfing. And again, who else is there being afraid of barfing? Guys, it was me. So I'm still doing the silly voice. You Jake, me why don't you sweep me away into the clouds and then we'll live happily forever. And she is loving this. We take the bus home. Again, front seats because of barf fear. We get off the bus. She goes to her house. I go to my house. The next day in school, I'm wondering how this Oklahoma show uh, is going to change, but it didn't change anything. She went back to her friends, I went back to mine, and we never really talked again. You know, you could say like, oh, school and things like that, but no, it's really me. I could have gone forward and said something like, hey, I really like you, I'd like to spend more time with you. But the thing you do in middle school is you don't say those things because you're afraid. You're afraid that if you say them and that you're not reciprocated immediately, that everyone's going to laugh at you and you're going to be outcasted. But you're already outcasting yourself anyway by not saying anything. So it's just a stupid little... Ah! And that's middle school to me. It's a lot of people not acting on what they feel because of a fear that they're feeling the wrong things. And instead of hiding our feelings about who we wanted to suck face with and what music we thought was cool, if we just shared it all, then maybe we could have had a more fun time. Maybe we could have all done silly voices together. Well said. Thanks, Franklin.